He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you are one of them. We think Perseus cut you out of the picture in Turkey. Adler found you still alive. Oh, so I was one of the guys in the in the uh, jeep that he shot. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of me. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. I mean, I'm going straight for the I believe you. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. You were put through the CIA's MK Ultra program. They gave you new memories, things constructed out of Adler's. It's fucked up. But they needed you to believe you were one of us. I am one of you. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job. Come on, we've got a job. Come on. You've got a job to do. You've got a job. Oh, so that's the key word. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your he did say that a lot throughout the game. The door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you. It's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Death Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. For the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Oh, so you can you can lie. I assume there's a good good ending, bad ending. Duga, the radar array near Duga. No. Solovetsky. It's Solovets Solovetsky Monastery. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. I'm coming with, right? You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. I assume the same thing would have happened if I chose Duga. I would have joined them and then they would have ended up dead or something. 
Oh, I'm not, I can't move. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. God, that's a sick line right there, to be fair. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. That EMP would take us out too. Um, let's be real here. Fuck me, that loses the spelling. Light him up! Power. Bad guys, lots of bad guys. Power. I can't get to cover here. XM4, there we go. Hey, gun, straight ahead. Heads up, RPG. Uh, give me that crate. Oh, Ooh, that's Adler. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Cut him down. Woods, clear out any AA guns on the west wing. We're on it, Adler. Adler, this is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. Get more ammo. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. Dude, you what do you think, think we're trying that? to? Yeah, Just exactly. Just to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Oh, that's not good. It's another one of these guys. 
That's not good. That's not good. I think I just killed myself. Ah, uh, rough. Just rough. Really? Let's get all reloaded here. I might have to take a gallow here. The power's coming back on. Adley, it's in. Woods, we're running out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't clear. RPD is killing me here. Well, let's go then. Better get a move on. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's a freaking minigun? Dude, I just picked up a. M nope, nope. Plant the C4. Counting zone is hot. You are danger close. Repeat, you are danger close. No, we gotta go now. Man, I'm getting taken out again. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. 
He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. We've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Park's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to her family and her caskets in transit to London. We spoke in the MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. Lazar Azale is recovering from his injuries in Tel Aviv. We'll return to the agency in good time. The pursuit of Perseus is personal for him now. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shooter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Wow. Okay, that was that was a very good game. The combat so far, ooh, I can control. I'm just gonna skip it. So far, that 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 was my favorite combat of the whole Black Ops series so far. I love the the gunplay. Um, I, I kind of saw that coming there at the end. I really did. Of like, cause Bell, based off of this, is is just still not a good guy. Like, he 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 was still part of uh. Perseus's group there so he was not a good guy he, I through choices we redeemed him at the end we took down Perseus's operation stopped the uh, green light nukes from detonating but he was still not a good guy so I I kind of feel like I saw that coming um that was a it's probably my favorite call, uh, black ops game so far I haven't played all of the call of duty games yet um, after this one, it's probably going to go, I'm going to go play the classic Modern Warfare games and then, uh, eventually work my way out all the way around to the new Modern Warfare games in the upcoming, I, I played through the Black Ops series first so I could get to, uh, finish through this part before Black Ops 6 comes out here in September, I believe. Uh, but I want, I want to play through all that, but I think this is where we're going to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, next time I see you well, with a Call of Duty game, it'll probably be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. Old one. 
Actually, it'll be remastered. I'm playing the remastered version uh, with better graphics and whatnot. So I will see you guys then. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.